Here we go. Let's do 10 more squats. You're gonna walk it out. And we're gonna do a two spine rotation. Open up one arm, open up the other. We're gonna want that. Frog squat. Let's do two. Walk it out. Two spine twists. Walk it back. Frog squat. Walk it out. I'm going to walk it out. Take a Spider Man lunge. And come down onto the forearms. So you might want to bring your back leg knee to the mat. Try to lift your bottom breastbone forward, stretch the spine. Compress on that knee. And open up to the hip a little bit more. Come back up onto your hands. Yeah, sit onto our back heel. Let's right in our front knee. Flex your front foot. That works. Okay. Actually, um, eight was your eight has your weight, so that's fine. That works too. So if you can try to arch the low back a little bit and lift your bum bones up, get in the upper ham. And let's sit fully on that heel. Tailbone right on the hill and bend forward as best you can. Forehead to knee. Rock back up onto that front foot. Bend your front knee. Now bend your back leg and let's stretch the quad. If you can, tighten that back glute. Open up through the pelvis line. Send that back hip forward. Get into the upper quad tendon, hip flexor. Release that foot. Tuck your toe under and the back foot. Lift your back leg, knee up. Inhale, arms up. So we're high lunge. We're going to reach forward and twist. So if you want more of a calf stretch, maybe put that back heel on the mat. That foot at a 45 degree angle. Still lunging deep in that front knee. Stack elbow over elbow, palms together, and use that leverage on your knee to twist even more. Include your head in that for that rotation. Palms on the mat. Take your leg back. We're in high plank again. You're going to lower all the way to the mat. Reach your arms forward and lift up. Hold it here, chin in, neck long. Circle your arms back, interlock your fingers over your tailbone. And let's reach for our heel and come back to center. So there's one. Chin neutral, two, three, thighs off the mat, four, five. So everything's in extension. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, circle the arms forward, 
Thumbs up, hold it. Palms under your shoulders, let's push up. And let's step forward with the left leg. See what we did here, we dropped our back leg knee to the mat, top of the foot to the floor. Let's come into a lizard. And stick your tongue out if you have a supine. You might want to take that hand, press on that knee, maybe open up the hip a little bit more. Stretching that upper quad on the back leg, so tighten your back glute. I like to stretch and strength at the same time. Oscillate in your hip joint. Let's come back up onto our hands. And where did we go from here, Missy? Oh, half split. Thank goodness for Manji. Hands on either side of your legs, breastbone lifted, chin neutral. And just start to lift the bum bones up towards the ceiling. Upper hand. I'm gonna rock forward on that front foot, bend your front knee, and then bend that back leg. You can grab it with one, two, or opposite. Try to kick into that hand as you fire up that back, back glute. Maybe take this into a back bend from pubic bone all the way to uh, anterior neck, front neck, stretching out. Nice contraction through your back bend. And then release that. Then come into a high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Just reach forward and we're gonna work on that twist. Again, if you want more of a calf stretch, put that back heel on the mat. But don't let your bum jut out to the side. You wanna keep that hip and knee in one line. Arms on the mat, you leg up. You're gonna go down, come into an upward dog. Try to slide your pubic bone between your hands. Stretch right up to the nape of the neck in the front part. Keep your lips together, teeth apart, and tongue on the top of your palate so you can get right into that front neck. Back down, lower down. Push back to downward dog. Hold it here. Maybe walk your hips out, bend one knee and then the other. All right, well done. Walk forward. Spider-Man lunge. Go half split or full split. So I'm trying to work on full splits if you can. We're not gonna hang out too long. Slide the leg back using the inner thigh. Step back, other side. Spider-Man lunge. You can work on half split or you can work on full split or both. Don't hang out too long. Slide that leg back. Step back. Play street. Go at your pace. I'm only gonna let us do this for about a minute. So you just kind of go through it, hang out whenever you need. One more on the other side. And walk back. Find your way to stand. Let's see what the workout says. All right, grab some weights if you have, and a box. We're gonna step up. Gonna hold our weight. If you got one, hold one. If you got two, squeeze them together. Keep them at chest height. We're gonna step up five. Step up squat. What do you name this? Well, well, this one's okay. Yeah. Let's go one. I need to get those. <laughs> two. Three. 
running a squat at the top, right? More. Keep these guys in mind. One more for five. And then we're doing five V-ups. So if you're not comfortable with feet V ups, go from a hollow hold to a knee tuck. That's great. Or you go from a hollow hold to a pike. Let's do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Flip it over as gracefully as you can. Mountain climbers, 50. One. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Down dog, if you ever so inclined, step up squat, 10. Sorry, you have to be on my couch. There's one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten. And the ups or knee tops. Good quality. Mountain climbers. That never changes. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifteen step ups with the squat. Weight is optional. Fifty mountain climbers. Step up 
squat 20. Slow back. Start strong. Or start weak. And build up to strength. Good choice. Five zero mountain climbers. Go on more round. Twenty five. I want you to challenge yourself the most in this round. Twenty-five each. Fifty mountain climbers. When you're done, you skip. more. We have to come back. Never fail. Always 
And with your 50 mountain climbers, and then skip. Go right away. Get your breath in your movement. It's called no brainer. Just keep moving. Please, can you relax your mind? Just trust. Just do it. One minute. Five, 
seven. The rest is petty. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Did I miss them? Standing over her tries. Grab your weight. Only doing nine. Only nine. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So much spine. Eight. Shoulder extension. There's nine. Right to press. One. No push. Put the knees. Strict. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, good job guys. 17, 18, two more, one more. Burpees. Ugh. Action is just straight back to the gym. That's really what it is, but good. Okay. There's one. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Five more. Four. Three more. Two left. You must do your last one. Overhead charge. Nine. Working on shoulder extension. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, lock it, guys. We're going last round. 21 press. One, use your exhale. Two, as you press up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more over there. Twelve. Thirteen. Chin stays in. Fourteen. Push. Fifteen. Five more. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. One more. 
And you're gonna do those burpees. One five. As we finish around here. Ready? One. Oh, shit. Two. Three. Thumbs up when you lift your arms. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. This is it, guys. Ten. Four more. Three. Two. Yeah. One more. Let's do it. Overhead tries. <laughs> Overhead tries. Skipping when you're done. Over. Only nine. Let the weight hang back for a bit. Find your hollow hold. Nice shoulder extension. Skip when you're done. We're gonna shake it up. Two minutes. This is what I call time waster. Rest period. You know you've been eating that healthy, Cindy.
Good. Have a question. Right five. You don't have to elevate your feet. You can just do one set. I love sitting. Three more. Is that ten? Is that ten? Okay. You're going to turn to a side high play. You're going to put one foot on the box, one foot on the foot. You're going to do lateral raise. So you can use a band or a weight or nothing. So let's do it. One foot on the floor, one foot on the box. Lateral raise, 10 each side. One, two, three, four. Squeeze the box with that top foot. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we got to switch. I'm going to switch like that. One, nice shoulder range. Two, working on your side body. Three, hips up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab your weights. Overhead lunges. Twenty-four. And we're gonna repeat. Ready? No cardio in this one. Just stamina. Are you working on your core here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more ish, eleven. Twelve, in your lunge. Thirteen, go to your core for strength. Fourteen, don't arch your back. Ten more. Sixteen, your shoulders are sore. Just drop the weight to your shoulder line. Seventeen, eighteen, otherwise pick them up. Nineteen, four left. Twenty-one, don't arch the back. Touch the tailbone. Twenty-two. 23, 24. Whew. We're going to walk out with or without feet elevated. Walk back. Tap your ankle. Just like we did earlier. As soon as you get. Front plank. Walk back. Tap. <laughs> See, this is considered yoga. <laughs> I can hear you, Victoria. Keep going, I have a question mission. <laughs> or, <sighs> Uh, 
She's making ice cream. seconds on hard 10 seconds slow so maintain four minutes of skipping where you can rest at your 10 second mark let's go three two one go that's 20 seconds if you don't have a rope knees up to pogo hops go And here's your best. So you either slow your skipping down or stop completely. If you did knees up, you can take it to a pogo hop. Three, two, go. Fast. Round two, baby. Slow it down for a rest completely. Find your exhale. Three, two, one. Round three. Let's go. Double it up. One. Hit the knees. Hit the knees. Five seconds. Let's go. Again. You're on my time, right? I'm in charge. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go hard. This is my heart. Don't judge me. One more round to go. Get it up. Three, two, one. Pick it up. Let's go all the way to the end. Seconds. 
at least an hour. Three, two, go. Let's go. Pick it up. Like, yeah, so. Yeah, you got two more rounds. I think so. Five, three, two. Walk your heel toe, your feet together. We're jumping together. 
Let's go on our back. Let's grab our knees to our chest. We can lock our elbows. Relax your head and neck on the floor. Chin in. Just rock side to side. As you pull your knees deep to your chest, try to curl your bum bones back to the floor. Swing our legs up straight. Open your legs split. Try to get your toes to face the floor. So internally, internal rotation. Heels face the ceiling. And then notice if your bum bones are rising up, try to lower your bum bones to the mat as you open your inner thighs. Let's bring our legs together. Let's cross our left knee over our right. Bend our knees and try to grab your shin. Your heels might be quite close to your glutes. See if you can kick your feet up towards the ceiling. Keep your chin in and pull your shoulders to the mat and draw the shoulder blades away from your neck. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Try to curl the bum bones back to the floor. And then unravel, open your legs, split. Bring your legs together and cross your right over your left. Grab your shins, maybe the top of your shin, maybe the middle, lower, maybe your arch of your feet. Now keep your up away as you squeeze your inner thighs together and lower your bum bones to the floor. Chat, your knees come away from your chest. And you're pulling your shoulder blades together at the same time. Chin is in, neck is long, and you breathe. Both legs up. We're going to open our arms wide. So bend your knees or straighten your legs. You're going to take them to the left side. And look over your right shoulder. Try to keep that right shoulder blade pulled towards your spine and down. Passing through your thumb and index finger, both hands on the mat. Bend your knees if you need to, bring your legs back to center. Straighten your knees if you'd like and drop them slowly control to the right side. Try to get your top leg to meet your bottom. And then wring out the towel. Let your spine in the towel and wringing out the towel as you rotate to your left. Try to pull your ribs back to the floor. Keeping that left leg long and then line to the right. Back to your center. We do this again, but this time we're going to cross like an eagle vine. So I'm just Crossing my knee over knee, and then I'm trying to wrap my left foot around my calf. Bend my knees, and I'm going to take them to the left. Which feels a little awkward, but it's still a good lateral stretch for that side body. Try to press to your thumb index here. Breathe into those upper ribs. You're going to bring your legs back to center and you're going to bring them over to your right to keep that same form you have drop into the right. And again, press to your left thumb and index here, stretching all the way down that arm line. 
breathe into your upper ribs. Back to your center. And let's unwind and switch. So one leg, one side might be a little tighter than the other. You might not be able to keep it on both sides equally. Take your legs to the right. Try to squeeze your legs together. You have one tail. So you have one leg. If you're in this position, you might as well work it, right? Inner thigh squeeze tight, stretching your outer hip, outer line of your body. You might get into a cramp. Just aware that that side's tight. That's something you need to do, not shy away. Back to center, over to the other side. Really try to stretch into that chest as you press the thumb index to the floor. Breathe. Squeeze your thigh. Back to your center. Unravel. Lengthen your legs on the mat. Arms by your side. Just take a peaceful lie here. Okay. <laughs> 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 